I'm Scott Smith. Um, I've been looking after the Hampshire region since mid-2019. Uh, before this, I was in financial services for around 15 years. Um, I was drawn to this opportunity um, because generally, I, I really don't like being an employee. I've always been looking for a franchising or self-employment opportunity. Um, the Gourmet Hog Roast uh, franchise is attractive to me because it's event-based, it's people-oriented. Um, because it's normally a celebration of sorts, it's normally quite a laid-back vibe, although you do have to pr produce uh, the goods. Um, I don't need an office. I can control costs. There's good cash flow, and there's a proper off season, so you can actually have a life and, and do other things. Um, a typical week for me would be uh, more admin in the beginning of the week, things like uh, chasing uh, clients for final payments, paying my suppliers, that type of thing. Uh, and then midweek, I'll buy you know things that I need to prep later in the week. Later in the week, I'll do that prep, and then go into delivery on the weekends. Uh, with a bit of cleaning afterwards. So, um, but also with all of these things, I am I'm in control of my time. You know, I decide when I want to jump on email. I don't. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a great way of, of working. I really do have control of my time. Um, the things I like about the systems that uh, the guys have in place is so they do all the all the all the the sales uh, work and the negotiation with the client, which can take a really long time. But I have visibility on all of that, so I'm, I'm, I've learned a lot just by watching you know, uh, what the clients want. You, you, you do get a very good feel for what's going on. Um, and the support that they give me is really, uh, it's, it's quite all-encompassing, really. They, they help me with everything from, you know, well, you know the timings uh, when I'm prepping things during the week. You know, maybe you should do this two days in advance instead of three days in advance or things like that. And then, especially for the bigger jobs on the actual day, they'll help me with, with timings in the day, you know, where I'm going to come to have trouble if I keep that order of things, you know, maybe I need to have a big gap between this part of the day and that part of the day, you know, things like this. Um, and they're also filtering um, information down from other franchise uh, franchisees, you know, this guy's using a machine that way, or, you know, this is working here, you know, things like that. So there's a really good um, communication uh, going with the guys, and um, they've been super responsive. I mean, I, I've I, I, I'm, it's amazing how, how good they've been. Um, and then the the cash flow element of the business has been very interesting. So my it's 2021. My first really proper month was July. So the figures I'm going to give you now from June, because June we had half a month in June. So from June to November 2021, inclusive, uh, gross income has been averaging around 12 uh, grand a month. Uh, it was the low of eight and a high of 16. Um, so it's been amazing. Uh, that's a, obviously, uh, that's factoring and that's after the commission that, uh, that the head office has taken. Um, so my goals, in t just going forward short term, um, I've now got real numbers to, to work off. Um, so I really just want to build out a, a, support, a support team. So more support staff and a few more chefs to really take advantage of, of the season. Now that I know what it looks like and when I can, when I can expect busy months and when I need more staff and when I don't need more, you know, I can have less staff at certain times of, of the year. Um, so yeah, take advantage of the season and then also really take advantage of the off season and, and, and get away. Yeah. Um, so, so far it's been a really good decision. Um, I'm glad to be on board.